Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a quiz in Google Forms. So if you're wanting to use this feature in Google Forms, as you know, every now and then it's nice to have something that scores things automatically for you. Definitely not the only type of assessment tool to use, but it's helpful to give students that quick feedback so they know where they stand, what they need to review, and gives you formative data as well. So Google Forms is a survey tool, but they do have a quiz setting as well as a locked setting as well. Now the locked setting is something that you can utilize, but it's technically something that's only going to work on Chromebooks. It will not work on Windows devices. So here's an example of a Google form that I had built and it was a bunch of primary sources and questions on here. And with you to leverage the automatic grading piece, they will have to be multiple choice questions or questions that can be scored without, you know, like human perspective. So Nothing short answer, paragraph response can be scored very effectively on here, but you can use multiple choice. So I'm on here, I add my questions per usual, just using this right hand side here to add them and set them up. But the thing is, is that when I go to my settings, this is what you want to do from the beginning. So you're actively having these on while you're building and you have these built-in reminders. So if I go to settings, I'm going to click make this a quiz. And then you decide when you want to give students their results. So I always set it as immediately after their submission. So whenever they finish this quiz, they get the results right away. Otherwise, you can send it out to everyone at your own time frame in your own time. The piece that would lock down the browser that won't allow students to open other tabs on their device when they're taking this is here. But again, that will only work on Chromebooks and manage Chromebooks by your school district. So here are additional settings for your quiz. You can decide what questions they got wrong if they want to see that. You can decide if they can see the correct answer or not, and then the point values. So totally up to you on how you would like to do that. Um, and then you can even change it so that students can't take this more than once or they can't take it more than once if you would like. So I type out my questions and I have it all set up there. And now that I've toggled on the quiz settings, when I get here, it's going to ask me for an answer key. So I'm going to do answer key, and then I basically highlight and select which answer is the correct one. So for this one, it was answer C. So has it there at the top, I can decide how many points it's worth. On the settings, you can technically set it up to where it's a default number every time, so you don't have to change that every single time unless you absolutely need to. Save yourself a little bit of time. You can also add answer feedback. So this is a really cool thing. You can add in a paragraph text here that describes to students, this is what you got wrong. Um, if you're having students take this a couple of times and you want them to be redirected to review resources, you can add a link here, maybe to a study guide or a video that reteaches that information for them. Correct answers, you can also add feedback too, like great job, move on to this next, whatever have you. I see this as being more of a helpful resource if it's a low stakes type of quiz, more so than one that you're planning to enter in the grade book, but could be an option here for you if you need it. All right, so whenever I'm finished setting up my answer key here, and if I added feedback, I would be done. I'll click done, and then I can move on to my next one here and set up the answer key there as well. So those are just some of the options on setting up a quiz. And as students' results are coming in, it tells me there's 13 points total here. I could see their responses and it would populate and I could see how they're doing, what questions we missed the most and their scores would be going right in from there. So that is quiz mode in Google Forms.